Total yeast and mold count or total fungal count is very common and important test parameter which represents the microbiological quality of any sample. Dear viewers, in this video we are going to present an appropriate test method for total yeast and mold count. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. This test involves seven steps, diluent and media preparation, sample preparation, serial dilution of the sample solution, inoculation of sample, colony counting, result interpretation and calculation. To conduct this test, we need a balance machine, autoclave, biological safety cabinet, incubator, water bath, stomacher, micropipette with drips, sterile petri dish and stomacher bag, Bunsen burner, glass sprayer, DRBC agar and peptone. Let's go for the analysis. At first, we will prepare diluent and culture media. We will use 0.1% peptone water solution as diluent for this test. To prepare 0.1% peptone water solution, take weight of 0.5 gram peptone. Dissolve the peptone in 500 ml distilled water. Now distribute 9 ml into each falcon tube. Autoclave the diluent at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Now we will prepare DRBC agar plate. Take weight of 6.32 grams DRBC agar dehydrated medium. Take 200 ml distilled water into a Duran bottle. Transfer the DRBC agar medium. Boil the content at 100 degrees Celsius using water bath with occasional swirling.
auto cleave the diluent and media at 121 degrees Celsius temperature and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. After autoclaving, distribute 20 ml of DRBC agar medium to each of the sterile petri plates. Cool the medium for 20 minutes to solidify. Now we will prepare our sample. Use a sterilized spoon to transfer the sample. Spray the spoon with 70% isopropyl alcohol if there is any chance of contamination. Take 25 grams of homogeneous portion of sample into a sterile stomacher bag. Transfer 225 ml of prepared 0.1% peptone water solution into the stomacher bag containing the sample. Mix and homogenize the content using Stromaker machine. Now we will dilute the sample solution by serial dilution technique. At first, we diluted our sample 10 times by mixing 25 grams raw sample with 225 ml diluent. That's why we are labeling the first sample solution with 10 inverse 1. Now transfer 1 ml of the first sample solution into 9 ml sterile diluent to make 100 times dilution of the sample.
This delusion is called 10 in verse 2. Vortex the second delusion. Transfer 1 ml of the second dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 1000 times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 3. Vortex this third dilution. Transfer 1 ml of the third dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 10,000 times dilution of this sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 4. Vortex this fourth dilution. Transfer 1 ml of the fourth dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 1 lakh times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 5. Vortex this fifth dilution. Again transfer 1 ml of the 5th dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 10 lakh times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 6. Vortex the 6th dilution. Dilute your sample more if you expect greater number of yeast and mold in your sample. Now we will isolate bacteria from each dilution by spread plate method. We will use two petri plates for each dilution. One plate is for trial 1 and another one is for trial 2. Label each DRBC agar plate. These two plates is for the dilution 10 inverse 2. This two plates is for the dilution 10 inverse 3. This two plates is for the dilution 10 inverse 4. This two plates is for the dilution 10 inverse 5. And this two plates is for the dilution 10 inverse 6. This plate is for diluent control. This plate is for media control. This plate is for biological safety cabinet control. 
keep the biological safety cabinet control plate open during all the time of working inside the cabinet. Media control plate contains only media which is for contamination check of that prepared media. Now we will make the glass sprayer sterile. Keep the sprayer soaking into 70% IP. Burn all the spreaders after making wet with 70% IPA as shown in the video. Cool the burn sprayers into the biological safety cabinet to avoid cross contamination. Vortex the 10 inverse 2 dilution tube. Now we will inoculate the prepared diluted samples into the RBC agar plates by spread plate method. Transfer 100 microliter of trial 1 and trial 2 plates of 10 inverse 2 dilution. Spray the sample solution using the sterile glass rod. In this way, inoculate all the deletions to the RBC agar plates. For details about the spread plate technique, take a look at our video. Video link of spread plate technique is given in the description section.
Transfer 100 microliter diluent into the diluent control plate sprayed as done for samples. Incubate the plates at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius for 5 days. After incubation, take out the plates from the incubator for colony counting. Let's count the colonies. Take a close look at the 10 inverse 2 dilution plates. Both of trial 1 and trial 2 plates developed uncountable number of colonies. You can see countable number of fungal colonies in 10 inverse 3 dilution plates. Let's count the colonies of 10 inverse 3 dilution. We found 11 colony forming unit in trial 1 plate. And here we counted 19 colony forming unit in trial 2 plate. We can see the lowest number of colonies in 10 inverse 4 dilution plates. Let's count the colonies of 10 inverse 4 dilution. We found 3 colony forming unit in both trial 1 and trial 2 plates. We can see only 1 colony on trial 2 plate of 10 inverse 5 dilution, which may came from contamination. This is biosafety cabinet control plate. No colony is found here. This is diluent control plate and this is media control plate. There is no colony formed in the media and diluent control plates. Hence, we can say that there was no contamination occurred in culture media and diluent. Note the counting results. Now we have to decide which plate counts should be considered. Plates with count below 150 CFU should be considered for the calculation. We have found uncountable number of fungal colonies in 10 inverse 2 dilution plates. While counting 10 inverse 3 dilution plates, we found 11 colonies in trial 1 and 19 colonies in trial 2 plate. In case of 10 inverse 4 dilution plates, we found 3 colonies in trial 1 and trial 2 plates. All of these counts are acceptable for calculation. 
because the counts fall below 150 CFU per plate. Let's calculate total yeast and mold or fungal colony for the tested sample. We found 11 CFU in trial 1 and 19 CFU in trial 2 of 10 inverse 3 dilution. And we found 3 CFU in both trial 1 and trial 2 plates of 10 inverse 4 dilution. Total fungal colonies in two successive dilution is 36 CFU. Number of plates of first dilution is 2 because we counted trial 1 and trial 2 of 10 inverse 3 dilution. Number of plates in second dilution is also 2. Our first count was obtained from 10 inverse 3 dilution, that's why D is 10 inverse 3. Put the values in the calculation 1 given in the left side of the board. By solving the equation, we got the total yeast and mold or total fungal count is 1.6 into 10 to the power 4 CFU per gram.